Facebook on Thursday launched a test of a new virtual reality remote work app where users of the company's Oculus Quest 2 headsets can hold meetings as avatar versions of themselves. The beta test of Facebook's Horizon Workrooms app comes as many companies continue to work from home after the COVID-19 pandemic shut down physical workspaces and as a new variant is sweeping across the globe. Good afternoon. You are listening to another episode of Black Man Into the Wild. I'm blessed to be here with you all today, and I'm blessed to have you here with me as well. Now, today, we're finally going to be taking a closer look at the Facebook metaverse. What is the metaverse? Well, the term was coined by writer Neil Stevenson in the 1992 dystopian novel Snow Crash. In it, the metaverse refers to an immersive digital environment where people interact as avatars. The prefix meta means beyond, and verse refers to the universe. These days, tech companies use this word to describe Web 3.0 and what comes after the internet, which may or may not be reliant on wearable virtual reality sensory hardware. But before we get started today, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share with your friends if you like what you hear. Now, the article I'm pulling from today comes from Reuters. Uh, Facebook launches VR remote work app, calling it a step to the metaverse. And by now, uh, if you're listening to or watching this podcast, uh, I'm sure you've seen the news that Facebook has indeed changed the name of their parent company to Meta Platforms. Uh, and this article to me is interesting because it helps provide some additional context as to why Facebook has gone with this game-changing decision. It says, Facebook sees its latest launch as an early step toward building the futuristic metaverse that CEO Mark Zuckerberg has touted in recent weeks. The world's largest social network has invested heavily in virtual and augmented reality, developing hardware such as its Oculus VR headsets, working on AR glasses and wristband technologies, and buying a bevy of VR gaming studios, including Big Box VR. Gaining dominance in this space, which Facebook bets will be the next big computing platform, will allow it to be less reliant in the future on other hardware makers such as Apple, the company said. Now, I'm intrigued here, you know, because for the past year or so, uh, I've committed myself to the belief that the metaverse truly will eventually be an optional reality for people. In fact, uh, I believe it already is, if we're being honest. Um, but I, I, I tend to tiptoe around the subject when I bring it up in conversation uh, only because I'm, I'm not sure how many other people are paying attention to this or, you know, uh, know that this technological development is coming and really has been coming down the pipeline since the genesis uh, of the Internet. Facebook's vice president of its reality labs group, Andrew Boz Bosworth, said the new workrooms app gives a good sense, quote, of how the company envisions elements of the metaverse. Facebook Reality Labs research brings together a leading team of researchers, developers, and engineers to create the future of virtual and augmented reality, which together, according to Reality Labs, will become as universal and essential as smartphones and personal computers are today. Now, the metaverse has been referenced in several recent earnings calls by tech CEOs including Zuckerberg, Microsoft Corps, Satya Nadella, gaming company Roblox Corps, David Bazuki, and Match Group Inc.'s Shar Duby, who have talked about how their companies could shape aspects of this futuristic realm. Scary. Uh, in July, Facebook said it was creating a product team to work on the metaverse, which would be part of its AR and VR group Facebook Reality Labs. Three months later in October, the company came out and announced that they were actually <laughs> changing their name to Meta. Uh, and as with most of Facebook's strategy announcements, this rebranding formalized a move that has been underway for years. Um, if you didn't know, the company already has more than 10,000 people working on augmented and virtual reality projects in its Reality Labs division, roughly twice as many people as are on Twitter's entire staff, um, and has said, the company, it plans to hire 10,000 more in Europe soon. Fast moving here. 
Uh, last week, the company announced that it would allocate roughly $10 billion to metaverse-related investments this year, and it has been acquiring VR startups in what could amount to a metaverse land grab. In its first full VR news briefing, the company showed how workrooms users can design avatar versions of themselves to meet in virtual reality conference rooms and collaborate on shared whiteboards or documents, still interacting with their own physical desk and computer keyboard. The app free through the Quest 2 headsets, which cost about $300, allows up to 16 people together in VR and up to 50 total, including video conference participants. Bosworth said Facebook was now using workrooms regularly for internal meetings. Now, uh, I, I just want to say here, one of the reasons that I really wanted to talk about this is because, uh, truthfully, we've all, over the past two years or so, uh, adopted or adapted to lifestyles that revolve around the virtual experience. Uh, you know, I don't think when our parents were downloading Skype, you know, years ago, that they thought that where we're going now would be the inevitable next step. Uh, and to be honest, it wasn't really at the forefront of my mind, even when we were all first learning about things uh, like Zoom video conference and, and Microsoft Teams. Uh, for me, it, it it really wasn't until I learned about uh, Microsoft, I should say what Microsoft was doing over there developing their Microsoft Mesh product, um, which we'll get into uh, in another episode, and seeing movies like Ready Player One. I mean, we talk about art imitating life and life imitating art. Um, and then thinking about games uh, like Fortnite, which I don't even play, uh, learning more about Roblox and, and things like Genie, uh, you know, we've talked about NFTs and Bitcoin and other crypto decentralized platforms here. Uh, that's that's when I had the light bulb moment, I think, that, you know, this is really coming. Um, and really, this is really here, uh, is what I should say. Now, the article finishes off here. It says the company said it would not use people's work conversations and materials in workrooms to target ads on Facebook. It also said users must follow its VR community standards and the rule breaking, excuse me, and that rule breaking behavior can be reported to Oculus. Facebook recently halted sales of its Oculus Quest 2 headsets and recalled the foam face liners due to reports of skin irritation in cooperation with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. The recall notice said it affected about 4 million units in the United States, providing an estimate of Quest 2 headset sales which have not yet been officially announced by the company. Facebook reported non-advertising revenue, uh, which comes from the AR and VR part of the business, as well as e-commerce of $497 million in the second quarter of 2021. Wow, powerful company. Uh, now, to finish off here, for those of you who have not yet you know, accepted the name change, uh, I believe what Facebook wants you to take away uh, from this is that, you know, Virtual reality has an enormous potential uh, to transform how we learn, communicate, and experience the world around us. Uh, it goes without saying that there will be foreseen and unforeseen challenges that come with entering the metaverse. However, uh, it's already, you know, already impacting the way corporations generate profit uh, and changing the face of education and specialized training in healthcare, manufacturing, uh, and beyond. Get in, loser. We're going to the metaverse. <laughs> That's an actual quote from uh, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody. This has been another episode of Black Man Into the Wild. Have a great night.